New York City, the city that never sleeps. Well, here I am though in a place where you can find some kind of respite and it's a place called Yellow. And uh, it was made by a gentleman by the name of Nicholas. And he did this, uh, the opening was done this year, earlier this year, I missed that. But I'm you know, going to definitely try out the reflexology treatment today which they offer and also uh, a power nap. We all need some naps and they call it power nap. So here I am with a gentleman who's running the show right now and his name is Michael. Hi Michael, how nice are you? Good, nice how are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to my show which is called What's Wellness? And I usually start off by asking, what's wellness, Michael? What's wellness? Mm -hmm. uh, wellness to me is uh, a tool to help us better deal with the stresses of our daily lives, uh, whether you're uh, husband, friend, father, uh, you name it, to really prepare us better to really enjoy those things and uh, you know, face the challenges that we have every day. So you are here managing a place called Yellow where uh, they sell sleep and they sell reflexology as well. Uh, who started this whole thing and the plan? And uh, I don't have Nick with me right now, but if you can give me a little background to why he felt this need to start a place like this. Sure. Uh, Nicholas worked for Time Warner for about 10 years, right around the corner from us here on 57. And he also worked for two startup companies and throughout his travels and journeys he came uh, across places in Asia, uh, specifically Japan, where the lifestyle was more about taking power breaks or utilizing tools such as reflexology to recharge and rejuvenate to be more efficient during their day. So through his travels he saw that and, and related that to his time here in the States where he really didn't have that time to take a break or a place to go to really rejuvenate, recharge that was all about him as a client. Different than a spa, but about wellness. So in his last trip to Japan, he was there, came across a reflexology center uh, where, they, where they also offer napping and it sparked the idea for him, why don't we have this in the U.S. And that started the years rolling and uh, got the development started and here we are now three years later. Now, did he suffer from insomnia at that stage? At that stage, he hadn't slept for, it was almost nine days. Wow. And he actually took off the night with the clients there because he was just so overwhelmed and traveling different time zones mm -hmm. and the, the typical corporate life. And he had to have that break and he was drawn to the center. It was a reflexology center that was almost fate that he came across this. Saw people coming in and out, feeling better when they walked out, tried it himself, and that was the first time he slept in almost that nine days. Now, uh, what kind of a client walks into Yellow? Uh, it's so diverse. You know, everybody has a different need and so many different walks of life from um, a young child we, we have as a client up yeah. to uh, somebody traveling in from out of state that wants to experience a place just to take a break mm -hmm. to people that uh, are holistic you know, wellness fanatics and really enjoy our services. You name it, we've pretty much seen it all to the corporate warrior. Just uh, out of sheer interest, uh, are men coming in more often than the women? A uh, little bit more men than women, yeah. yes. <laughs> yes. The cause of stress being them, right? <laughs> the women? <laughs> well, no, I don't I want don't to ask, say right? that. <laughs> but tell me about this young boy who came over. How old was he? The young boy is about eight years old mm -hmm. and uh, originally started coming with his father and we ended up learning that they were in, uh, in limbo, basically, moving residencies from across the country to New York and staying up in hotels or different places. Mm -hmm. So we saw them coming back and got to know them and build a relationship. Come to find that the boy really found the environment here conducive to sleep and relaxation and having a really hard time sleeping in the hotel and missed his home. So you know, what a better way to impact somebody's life than hear this from a child who you know, found our place to be great and wow. really excited to come to see us here. It was amazing to see a smile on his face knowing that the stress that's in his life and what's going on, you know, a move can be quite traumatic, so it feels good to help him. But I want to ask you, uh, does that really work out when somebody naps? My personal understanding and personal experience of napping is that you don't feel like sleeping at night then. Well, 70% of Americans, working Americans, sleep six hours or less a night, and mm -hmm. there's been numerous studies. All the studies have shown that a 20 to 40 minute power nap, siesta, whatever you'll call it, wherever we're from, mm -hmm. is can impact productivity, alertness, and ability to relieve stress in your body to heal. Well, uh, they have actually, actually, uh, you know, they have some proof about.
this fact that when somebody takes a power nap, efficiency increases. I mean, that person yes. is uh, better at uh, doing his work or her work. Yes. And that you also tend to become younger. I mean, apparently the lifespan, ex uh, you know, sort of extends. So that's an interesting philosophy that the more you sleep, the longer you will live. And they say the nap. I mean, if you look at countries that do take the siesta, their life expectancies and, and mm -hmm. different diseases that occur that are uh, more common in the Western world here, it's directly related to the nap and their lifestyle and how much they break and, and take the time for themselves to recharge and rejuvenate. And their efficiency and their productivity is also increased due to that. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, life expectancy, I'm sure, due to the relief of stress, is, is absolutely uh, critical. I always... Uh, have believed in the wellness theme and the work-life balance and taking care of yourself to better enjoy your personal time while also playing hard at work. Uh, to find that balance is always a challenge. Now, I did, did want to ask you, Michael, if you can actually tell our viewers uh, uh, if there were three things that you would like to sort of uh, give them as suggestions because we've heard about things like, okay, count the sheep when you know you have to go to sleep. Some people count the cows, they are bigger, <laughs> and or drink that glass of milk with chocolate in it, because if you just drink that before bed, it has that special tryptophan in it, which yes, is going to make you go to sleep. So anything that you have learned over the years, which you feel can help them out, not everybody can make it here, right? So if there was something they could do at home, which would ensure that they get a good night rest. Uh, the three things that I would think of, one, as I just mentioned to you before, I would recommend customizing your environment, really spending some time to think about what's going to make you most comfortable in your environment and, and taking that seriously. How much time do we spend in our bed, our bedrooms and sleeping and, and how much value does that bring to us, to our personal lives, to our work lives, to our families. So it's, it's definitely worth the investment to invest in the room. I would say some form of exercise um, throughout the day, whatever it may be. Uh, it doesn't have to be overly aggressive. It can just be that walk through the park. Something to relax you, to bring you down and really clear your head so to help relieve some of that stress and the third thing would be bring wellness or an holistic approach into life such as reflexology reflexology helps to balance the body balance the systems and truly put you in a state of mind where you're more clear and you have a better way to handle the stress that you're facing every day so that way when you do come time to go to bed you're not overwhelmed with all these thoughts and your systems are completely relaxed and focused so relaxation is the key, that's the best uh, de-stressor as such and taking out time for ourselves, I guess that's what we lack all the time, you know, taking out time for our families, for yes. ourselves, because it's all about keeping a balance between the mental, emotional and physical aspects of our being. Thank you so much, You're welcome. Michael, for your time. It was such a pleasure. Thank you, Samina.